Hey guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video here. In this video, I'll be showing an amazing plugin called Arena Region. So it's pretty much a simple plugin where you can actually select an arena with uh, the two corners where the first corner being the top corner and the other corner being the lower corner. So basically once you've made the arena, you can actually schedule a regeneration. Let's say you have a free for all arena system where you have players joining and they're breaking blocks from time to time. So basically you can schedule a regeneration where it just regenerates to its uh, default state. So right now I could show you the systems. So as you can see, I'm in the configuration file over here. So let's just go through it quickly uh, so that I can continue with the showcase. So there's even a size limit over here. So it restricts the size of the arena that you create and then there's even account for maximum arenas so there are a few fun features that you could uh, go through so the first being the lock arenas where players actually can't enter it when the arena is being regenerated and then there's even modes here where there's actually five types of modes my favorite is the wave mode but it's up to you on, on what mode you would like to select let's go through the arena creation first let me just expand the minecraft client again uh, let me just do ar wand to get the wand so let's go ahead and select the two corners over here so here being the one corner the bottom corner and I can just go back uh, to the base and I can create AR create and the name of the arena so let's just call it test so now you could do AR help you get a list of commands uh, there's even like AR resize which would basically mean that uh, you're selecting new corners with the wand and then you basically type AR resize and the name of the arena so I do not have to change anything so I don't need to run the command there's even like commands like AR regenerate so this is like a force command to start the regeneration I don't need to do that right now because there's nothing to regenerate but to showcase the whole thing I'm just gonna like set the whole area with dirt maybe so before I do that let me also type AR set spawn test so kind of like you could type AR TP test and you basically get teleported to the spawn point so it's pretty cool so let me just add some stone let me just go to the end so that i can show the whole arena so it could be like up five and let's just right click it and let's set it with dirt so we're going to use this to showcase the whole feature so now i can just do ar regenerate and the name of the arena so as you can see it goes in a, a motion of wave so i mean it's pretty cool actually if i look at it and before i actually run the regeneration command uh, for the feature to work uh, just make sure that teleport to spawn is enabled so you can just like uh, do true so now you can do ar reload and now let's try to regenerate it and now it basically just regenerates you to the main spawn i think so you just kind of get teleported outside the arena during the regeneration so if you want to disable that you can just uh, change it back to false and there's even other options for uh, players inside the arena during a regeneration so you could either cancel the region or kill the player or execute a command so for example over here if you enable this this particular command is going to run so maybe you could do something like uh, tp player and maybe you have a certain warp so it could be like warp name this isn't actually a real command but it's just to give you an example but i'm gonna remove this that's pretty much uh, what comes under the player inside spawn section this is even a radius increment which uh, which is configured for how the wave works so it kind of like how many block it works per tick and this is even the speed and where it starts so right now as you saw it started from the center but if you put it something like min corner so it could start from the place where you actually set the minimum corner you just save it here and go back to minecraft and do AR reload. Now let's just set it back to dirt again. And now if I do AR region and the name of the arena, it's gonna start from the minimum corner as you can see. It did not start from the center like before. So that's pretty much how the wave function works over there. So now there's other modes that I can go through. Let's go to the standard mode. So let me just go to the standard, save it. And now you need to reload the config, set it to dirt. And once you're done with that, let's just run the regeneration command. So as you can see, it has a different way of regeneration. Uh, it did not work the same way as the wave, which shows that the standard mode is a different mode. So now let's try the another mode called paste. So now let's just run AR reload and let's just set it to dirt again. And now let's run AR region, the arena name. So as you can see, it runs like a face mode. So it kind of goes like one block at a time. And by that, I mean a block of tongue. So that's pretty much how the whole regeneration works for paste. So now let's just try another method here. So I think there's two more left to show you. There's even selective. So I think this is a bit different from the rest of them. So let's just do AR reload again and set it to dirt and run the regeneration command again. I think let's reduce the speed over here. Uh, let's put it to normal so that you can actually view how it works and uh, let's run regeneration again so now i think it should be pretty visible on how the regeneration works so now uh, i'll just look from the bottom and as you can see that's how the selective mode works
So now let's try the last method, which would be uh, the world edit method. So let's just enter that and do AR reload. So I think it pretty much just uh, you know, paste the whole corners again. So let me just try that and see how it works. So I set the dirt and the regeneration test. So that's pretty much how the whole world edit method works. And I think that's pretty much all that I can show you on the preview side. Let's just go through the config and finish up whatever is left. So there's even some additional config values which you can toggle over here. So there's some boolean values over here which lets you enable block placement and block breaking during an arena regeneration. There's even like separate config values for fetched and selective. You can also toggle some values over here where you need to confirm every time you run the regeneration command. And you can also like change the speed of the region speed or the region type. And there's even other commands actually like where was it? AR preview and the arena name. So I think it pretty much just shows the particles to show the arena. So as you can see, it uses the flame particles, which was configurable over here. As you can see, you could maybe change it to something else. And there's even uh, the item which you can use for the selection. So maybe you could change it to something else. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more similar content. See ya.